hello people welcome to windows help uh, today i'm gonna show you how to fix error connection refused in google chrome okay there are three methods to fix it the first method would be refreshing the D dns client service okay uh, on the keyboard press and hold the windows key and hit the letter r or click on start and type run okay and it would pop up the run box and in the run box type services.msc this is a command you need to type and then select ok and the services.msc page would open in which you need to select any one of those and type the word dns and you will get the dns client option this DNS client we need to restart the service okay you can see when you right click you'll get a restart option select restart okay this is done and after this method I would request you to uh, restart the machine and check it if it has fixed it or else proceed to the next method but two uh, to fix the error connection refused in Google Chrome okay uh, it would be changing the dns address okay uh, yes let's go ahead with the method 2 uh, if you're using windows 10 right click on the start okay or uh, if you're using uh, windows 7 click on start on the right pane you'll have control panel okay uh, left uh, on the windows 10 after you right click you need to select control panel okay and this particular view would come up and select network and internet okay network and sharing center select change adapter settings on the top left now look for the wireless or the one which is uh, connected this is the one which is connected for me okay right click on it select properties sorry right click properties okay and select ipv4 address and select properties okay you need not change obtain an ip address automatically option change use use the dns following setting server address and the numbers you need to include is eight eight okay eight just a moment eight, and select the other tab delete the zero and insert eight delete zero insert eight delete zero insert eight okay the first line is all eights and the second line would be eight eight four four eight eight four four okay and then click on ok and the dns would be changed and this is the second method to fix the error okay i hope uh, most of the people's uh, queries would be solved by this after you change it just restart the machine and check the google chrome again uh, it should be fixed even after that if it still doesn't get fixed it would be a major uh, settings issue or the configuration issue uh, not to worry proceed with the next method okay thank you uh, let's go to the method 3 okay uh, if you're using windows 10 right click on start and you'll get command prompt with admin select that and it would ask you to select yes or no select yes to allow the uh, command prompt to elevate and if you're using windows 7 okay click on start and type cmd okay from the search results uh, you'll have uh, cmd.exe right click on it okay and select run as admin okay and the first command we need to use would be ipconfig slash release ipconfig forward slash release 
I'll share the commands uh, at the bottom of the video. So this is the command IP config forward slash release. After you enter that, hit enter. Once you have released the IP address, you need to renew it. That would be IP config forward slash renew. This is the command. After you enter that, hit enter. Uh, then the last command would be NETSH WIN SOCK reset. WinSock reset. Okay, this is the command. After you hit, hit enter and it would successfully re reset the windsock and it would ask you to restart the machine please restart the computer and this should fix the problem okay my command is still running and if this these steps didn't work out and i'll show you method four where you need to reset the google chrome settings okay and uh, to reset the Google Chrome settings, open the Google Chrome. Okay. Go to the top right hand corner, select the three dots. Okay. Now select the settings. Under settings, uh, go to the bottom of the page, select advanced and under advanced, uh, you'll have the reset option. Click on reset and it would reset the whole Google Chrome settings and any uh, configurations which are saved uh, under the Google Chrome uh, should get deleted and it should help us uh, in resolving the errors. And if this didn't sort out the problem, uh, we may have to reinstall Google Chrome. Uh, in order to uninstall it, you need to right click on start, go into control panel, okay. Under control panel, uh, programs, uninstall a program, okay. Here we have the Google Chrome. Right click on Google Chrome and select uninstall, okay. And once you have uninstalled it, I'll share a link at the bottom of the video to download it and install it again please install and then restart the computer and this should fix the problems of all Google Chrome issues so do not worry just follow these steps and it should help you in uh, getting the Google Chrome back okay and uh, please do not uh, forget to hit subscribe okay and uh, please like and share my video and support me so that I could make more videos thank you